Hey guys, welcome back. It's round three of the Abyssmus 2v2 tournament. We've got two teams that both have two wins already coming live at you. And I'm joined again by Judge. We're going to be commentating all seven rounds of the Swiss. And there's actually going to be a knockout stage of potentially about eight teams later on. But we'll worry about the finals later. Oh, they've already locked in their picks, Judge. They certainly have. So we've got Flu on Kindred, Duck on Lucian, Funny on Zed, and the Snessel Quinn. A lot of Ignites, a lot of Exhausts coming out here as well, Penguin. We're going to be looking at some crazy team fights in this match, hopefully. Hopefully less of a boring uh, a boring Lucian Caitlin, as the Twitch chat has been saying all day so far today. Yeah, we've got a more fun uh, Lucian Kindred. Which, and they've even gone for the Exhaust and Ignite, both very heavy combat summoners. No flashes, no barriers, it's just going to be Funny Zed that has the only uh, kind of mobility summoner and flash. And all these picks, a lot of early game damage, and even more damage when they hit level 6. That's certainly right. Good to see now, Zed with an Ignite instead of an Exhaust barrier. Which is uh, or, or exhaust or a barrier, I should say, uh, looking to make some extra damage and take use of his death mark proc when we hit level six. Interesting to see a kindred in this comp, though. I I can't imagine that I would have picked a kindred going into a two v two, but you can certainly get a lot of good mobility out of it. Kindred does her does her early on with her her abilities and her passive, and come level six, you've got that ultimate, which is just absolutely amazing for saving lives and outplay. Only thing is, you don't have anyone on the team who can displace. So usually with a kindred ult, you've got someone that can knock someone out of the ult. On the, like, an enemy teammate out of the ult, that way they don't get the heal at the end, they just cop a very, very low health bar. So it will be interesting to see how we have how we get out plays in this matchup. The Kindred Ultimate, actually, I like that you talk about it, because it's almost a direct counter to what Zed and Quinn are going to be wanting uh, to do, because Quinn has a lot of uh, missing health damage, and also Zed wanting to take people out with this death mark, and as soon as you see uh, the shuriken above your head, which says you're guaranteed to die from this death mark, you just pop the Kindred Ult down and say, nope, no, I'm not, I'm going to survive, and I think Flu uh, and Dark are going to have a lot of synergy, they're actually twins. Like, the team name is Twins, and they tell me they are Twins. Now, last ah. time, I believe someone uh, might have been trolled, but I think they're legit this time. So, yeah, they may even be playing in the same room. Yeah. Playing in bedrooms across the house. We don't, know, we don't know. We're not there, unfortunately. I'm not sitting behind Flu, so we're just having some speculation here in the chat, but I definitely think that you, no, look, you're probably being trolled again, Penguin, let's be honest. The chat loves to troll you. Everyone loves trolling us here on stream as yeah. well so if we're not getting trolled i'll be i'll be wonderfully impressed wonderfully <laughs> impressed that, that's, no, the, just, that's the phrase i'm going with <laughs> just 30 seconds left until we get onto the howling abyss i'm so used to saying onto the rift but howling abyss just sound just as cool Oh, it does. The Howling Abyss. It's not just a chasm with a bridge over it. It's a howling chasm of wintry doom. And fitting as well that it's an Abyss Esports tournament uh, on Howling Abyss. Certainly is fitting. Abyss Esports did make mention of that little pun on their website as well, which I found hilarious. Yep, so we're into the skin battle, as we call it, here at GameStar. And just looking out, two high-level mastery Z, full mastery, kindred, full mastery. Yeah, indeed. I mean, the kindred full mastery. Haven't seen that yet myself. Seen plenty of Zeds of full mastery, but kindred something new. So hopefully, mm. Flu can pull out some massive plays. You got to be a committed player to master a new champion like that so quickly. Oh, you do. If I saw an Alawi mastered, I would be I'd be thoroughly impressed. And it hasn't been out for very long would have to play a lot of games of uh, of a very new champ to get them mastered so quick. As the ch as the, all the teams do run onto the bridge now, we're seeing very similar buy-ups on both sides, very heavy AD comps. The triple Dorans for both Kindred and Lucian, and Quinn as well, with Zed grabbing double Dorans and a long sword. We're going to get the ambush from the bush here. Duck and Flu waiting for them to get nearby. Oh, And there it is, Snessel getting damaged. Whoa. Oh and my goodness! Already. Wow, wow, where did that damage come from? Flo and Doug taking down the first blood already, and Quinn's Nestle not even going to be able to buy extra items. 
absolutely unreal. I mean, there goes that de that strategic death if they wanted to buy items in this game because Quinn's already gone down. The massive damage that came out from Kindred, though, I, I can't believe it, to be honest. What what was that? Was it like double Thunderlords and an Ignite and Exhaust as yep. well? I don't know how they did that. It's absolutely unreal. We're having some more poke coming through now. Kindred getting some t poke onto the Quinn. Zed getting a good... Shadow and Shuriken there. Uh, I'm interested to see how well this goes as they go oh on to no. Snessel again. Snessel almost dead. The auto almost taking him out there. Quinn left with about 30 health after that one. Absolutely unreal. The damage coming out of this Kindred. I doubted it, but I've been proven wrong yet again, haven't I, Penguin? Yeah, and all it takes now is one uh, well aimed Lucian ability onto that. Onto that coin, it'll be game over. They've already got one kill on um, the first minute. They got that first kill, and now they're just shoving it onto the turret. And there's Quinn right there, uh, looking prime and juicy. Just a good piercing light from Duck, and it'll be game over. That's right. P Duck looking to get a, a piercing it. light on through a minion to hit Snassel. He's just going to wait in the bush there, get poked down by Funny. Oh, it takes turret shot. There's an ignite, a turret shot as well. The exhaust out. He's going in, but Quinn gets the knockback. And the kill on that one. It's one kill each. Lucian going a little bit too ham. Yeah, that was very, very close right there. Uh, but what happened is because Lucian slightly displaces uh, the champion she hits with her vault, Lucian wasn't able to get those last two autos off with his passive, and Quinn survives that trade. Oh, that's exactly right. So yeah, Lucian now he's bought another Don's Blade uh, and a pair of boots. I'm not too sure about another Don's Blade. I mean, he's already got all that lifesteal. Maybe he could have just gone for a few more Longswords. But nevertheless, four, uh, four Don's Blades and Fluent Dark, the twins, look like they're in full control uh, to take this game out. They certainly do. The thing is, they've got a really good comp for taking the tower as well. We look at how much ta uh, health that tower's lost already, about a third, and we're only three minutes into the game. So we'll be interested to see whether they go for the... Uh, obviously, they're not going to be going for the CS advantage in this one because they're looking to close it out quite quick with both enemies being quite low on health. Duck and Flu either going to take tower or jump the tower and get a kill on Funny or Snessel. Yeah, it's not looking very good. The turret already below half HP. Flu showing up that mastery on the Kindred. Does love to dance for the camera there. They're just going to keep taking the CS. 11 CS on Z to the total of 25 right now uh, for Flu and Duck. Certainly is funny picking up the health there to try and try and get back in this game. Snessel grabbing the health relic behind the tower. Flu and Duck though, Flu's just going to get some mad pokes. He's going in. They can Flu. use the ultimate. The up. There's the Z ult. That's not going to have much of an effect as the heal oh. comes through. But that's game that's over. It. That's GG. The Z ult has managed to oh, to take out this game. The Kindred ult was just too premature on that one. Yeah, and they, they've taken them out. You can't milk these. Uh, milks them. And they get the two kills. Even under that turret, the Kindred ult, not enough. They're just backing away. Still gets the turret shot. And you can't milk those. Takes uh, the win over the Twins. Certainly does. Congratulations to you can't milk those. They're going to move up on the leaderboards, securing another point.